Hi, I'm Jacinta and welcome back to my channel. Before fall ends for the Northern Hemisphere players, I thought I'd do a video incorporating some of the mushroom items in the game. I think all the mushroom items are so cute and work so perfectly with fall themed islands, but they also can be used all year round on any island no matter what the theme is. So since this is a mushroom themed video, I thought I would turn my character into a mushroom too. <laughs> Such a cute outfit, it's a little over the top, but it works. Okay, so let's get started and ruin my outfit with the Island Designer app as usual. I'm going to start with laying down some dirt paths to put the mushrooms on. Okay, to start with I've just laid down a few rows alternating between the dirt path and the dark dirt path just to set down a base to start working. I've already gathered quite a few items that I think might work for this area and I've just kind of dumped them all around on the edges. Um, so to start with I'm going to grab some mushrooms. And I'm going to start by placing the mushrooms down in the rows. Okay so that looks like a good start but I want it to be less organized looking so I'm, I think I'm going to extend some of the rows out and start placing some fences and bushes around it. Now this fence I'm using is called the country fence and I thought it was a perfect color and the perfect looking sort of fence for a little mushroom farm. I might actually have a little walkway on this side. Mm, might move this one. I find it hard to mix up the fencing of things. Like it's more natural for me to just put a whole fence around something. But I'm trying to make it look a little bit less like organized. <laughs> yeah, I don't really like that. <laughs> I think I'm gonna take these bushes out. Please be a mushroom DIY. What is it? Ooh, cute. That's the little like bag. Nice. <laughs> Looks like that if you're wondering. So cute. Now I do have a log bench, so maybe I'll slot that into one of these sides. Oh, I could also use one of these hay bales. That'll do. Is anyone the same? When you think that'll do, you think of Shrek and you're like, that'll do donkey, that'll do. Because I always think that. Don't know why. Okay, it's starting to look like a little less tidy, which is good. Oh, hi Flick. Didn't know you were here today. I just want to put little items through so it's a bit more mixed up instead of just the rows of mushrooms. But I'm just going to turn it around, hopefully without picking up mushrooms. Cute. And I think I'm going to set up a little seating area with the mushroom table and the mushroom stool. Now I want this area to have quite a like natural cottage core sort of vibe to it, but I can't go past the red and white mushroom items. So I'll just put a couple of them in. I just love the red and white customized colors. And they match my dress. Now I'm going to get a bit of a path going. I want quite a like unstructured path and I've downloaded a couple from the portal. So hopefully they look all right. Okay, that'll do for now. I just wanted to lay something out roughly and then later on I'll add weeds and flowers in between the gaps and stuff too. 
Okay, so what do we want next? Um, oh, I might put this in the farm sort of area too. Maybe here. Might just turn it sideways so you can see it a bit better. Maybe put it in the dirt. Okay, so now I think I'll go dig out some trees and place them around the area. Oh, of course. <laughs> That's where that always happens, right when you need it. I love the red trees. They're so cool. Oh my gosh. Okay, let me go get some more shovels. I'm being lazy, I just can't be bothered making them. Okay, let's try that again. Now I'm going to use mainly just the hardwood trees, but I will use a couple of apple trees because I think they suit the area. I think as I add more items around, the path looks a bit better. Like before it was just a bit flat and, you know, a bit random, but it starts to look better the more items you put around it. I just don't have the patience at the moment to try one of those, like the path ones that everyone uses, because they look way too hard. <laughs> cool, that's looking better. Now, I might customize a few of these mushroom items and put them around. Oh, the silo. I wanted to use the silo as well. Maybe over the back here. If I move this tree, then I can take out a little bit more of this fencing and maybe put it here. Nice, it's coming together well. Oh, I've also got some of these cricket cages. In my last video, I tooled a fall-themed island called Serenity, and I saw that the creator there used the cricket cages to decorate, and I thought I'd give it a go too, because it's a wooden cage that looks quite cute. I put some mush lamps at the entrance here. Hmm, I wanted it a bit closer to the fence. Um, maybe I'll put them near the bridge instead. They don't really look right, but I'll leave them there for now. I might move them around, just put them randomly instead of right next to each other like that. Oh, I want to put the scarecrow down by the farm. Same with the birdhouse. Might have a look what other colors I can customize the birdhouse. Oh, hi Sky, come to check it out. Okay, so let's check out what other colors we can do. The mushroom parasol. I do like the red and white, but is it a bit much? Because I've got the table red and white. I might just make them white. Is that too much I ask as I'm wearing a matching red and white mushroom dress and hat? No, I don't know if I really like these partitions very much. Like, they look kind of weird. I'll, tr I'll just do one and I'll see how it looks. I think the dark wood will look the best. And let me just have a look at the birdhouse. I think that's going to look best dark brown too. And I think I'll place that swinging bench down here so the villagers can sit on it and look out at the ocean. Cute. Oh. Yeah. I just really haven't got many full DIYs so I want them all. Surely this is not going to be another one because the last one was a DIY. Silk pants. I knew I wouldn't be that lucky. Oh, cute Sky. <laughs> She's already enjoying the new area. Oh, I actually might put that tea set on the t mush table. I don't like how it's like hanging over the edge. Yeah, that's better. I really don't like how you can't place items right in the middle of the tables. I think I might find a picnic rug and put it on the ground here to use up some space. I haven't got a custom design saved for that though, so let me go find one. Yeah, I was thinking a ready sort of colour, so this one might work. Although I have seen ones that look a bit more like patchworky, which would be cool. If I can find one. Brown could also work. Maybe this one. No. Okay, so I actually just had a look on Pinterest, which is a really good place to find custom designs if you're ever looking for them. And I found one that the creator had made it look kind of like a patchwork quilt, which is what I was after. So let's have a look. Yeah, this one. Look, full quilt. It's even got little mushrooms on it. I think I'll save some of these cute little patterns too for the ground. Okay, so let's go see how this looks. I really think adding a picnic blanket just suits any area. And it's a good way to use up space. Cute. Such a good pattern. Now I'm not sure how big I want this. I won't extend it this way because it'll have the tassel so maybe I'll put it this way and I'll move that bush out of the way. <laughs> no. <laughs> Oops, that was the wrong one anyway. Cute. 
not cute. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, custom designs can be so painful. Oh my god. No, why am I so bad at this? I used to blame it on Joy-Con drift, but I brought new Joy-Cons, so. <laughs> okay, let me just, yeah. Okay, this is the spot. Oof, okay. <laughs> you wouldn't think it'd be that hard. Well, it's not. I just make it look hard. Cute. Uh, is that the right spot though? Yeah, I think if I stretch it out one square this way, it might look a bit better. And get rid of this row. The blanket is going to be a little bit uneven, so I need to add an extra row on. Yeah, because there's two on one side and one on the other. Oh, this isn't really looking right. Maybe I just won't have the chair on it. I do have a picnic basket, so maybe I'll just set this up as a picnic area. And we won't use that swinging bench. <laughs> Sky's coming to check out the new area. Is she gonna sit? Oh, cute. <laughs> Straight away sits down. Love that. Oh, no. I wanted to take a photo. Why do the villagers always sit down for like two seconds? So maybe I'll put, oh, I've got, do I have two cushions? Okay, maybe I'll put them both down on the picnic blanket. Might put the swinging chair here, swinging bench, sorry. And again, I have to turn it around. Maybe it'll look better once there's some flowers around it. I think I just don't like how, you can't really tell it's a seat, except from the front and because I've got it sideways, it looks a bit funny. Where was the other cushion? I don't actually like that there. I don't know why I put it there. I suppose I better extend the path out a little bit too. So you can walk to the rug. Can't have you walking on the grass. Yeah, I think that looks okay for now. Maybe this will look better here, away from everything, so it's not too busy. Yeah, that's a good little sized spot for it. Oh gosh. Um, no, it's a bit big. I just don't see the point of having the tree that close to the chair, because then you can't even see it. <laughs> this guy is just really loving this area. Yeah, that's better. Maybe I'll put a hedge on this side then. Okay, now if I just add a few flowers and stuff, I think the area is pretty much done. So let me go get some. I think I'm going to use just red and white. Hopefully I've got enough. I haven't been watering my flowers, so I don't think I've got any new ones growing. Okay, so I think I've got enough flowers and trees and weeds around this area. I'm probably going to regret all those weeds because they're going to start growing out of control, but that's okay. They look good for now. So I'll place a few more items around and then I might add some more custom designs to the ground and I think we're almost finished. Hmm, where am I going to put this mush parasol? Not down by the table, maybe over here. It's quite a large item. Yep. <laughs> Let's try again. I think I'll bring it forward one. Yeah, that looks better. Um, I've got the scarecrow. I might put that actually in here somewhere. Maybe in this empty spot. Cool. Yeah, that looks good. The colors match perfectly. And I've got a birdhouse. Um, where do we want that to go? I might put it over the side because I haven't got many items over here. Yeah, that's cute. So let me just add the finishing touches on, which will be custom designs. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, all the finishing touches are done. I added heaps of custom designs and a couple more items. So I'll show you through the area. Okay, so we've got this path made up of a few different custom designs. Gives it a bit of an unstructured feel, which I like, rather than like the brick paths or anything. And here we've got the actual mushroom farm. So I've used the country fence around it. Um, I've got all the mixed mushrooms. In the mushroom garden, I like the look of the dirt path mixed with the dark dirt path. I think if it was just one of the colors, it would look a little flat, but having the two really makes it look better. Use the silo, the wooden bucket, scarecrow, and the flimsy shovel to decorate the area. Oh, and the hay bed too. Okay, then leaving the farm area, I've got the cricket cage. I feel kind of mean using him as a decoration. Um, sorry, cricket, but you look too cute in that cage. Uh, we've got his buddy up here that might try to get him out. <laughs> we've got the white mushroom parasol here. And then up here we've got the mush table and the low stool with the little tea set on it so you can hang out and have a cup of tea. Here you can also see a few of the different custom designs I used to decorate the ground. We've got just some white specks, some fall leaves, some mushrooms and some flowers. Then moving on to our little picnic blanket. And I really like this sort of quilted look. It just really looks perfect for fall, especially if the little mushrooms in the pattern. And the creator's is really talented, it's so cute. Okay, and then moving down this way, just use the log stakes and the log swinging bench. So the villagers can sit here and look out to sea. Or you can be like Apple and just sit on the sand. <laughs> I've got the marsh partition here. And I've also used the red leaf pile, which I think is such a cool item. Oh, and here in the front by the bridge, I've used a custom design on the ground, which is a little fairy ring of mushrooms, and I've put the mush lamp in it. I think it's really cool to layer up items and custom designs like this. And I've also done the same thing over this side. I've got the little fairy ring of mushrooms with the birdhouse on top. So that's the little mushroom farm fall inspired area all finished. I've got to say it looks really good right now with the sun setting, giving it a warm glow, which just really suits all the colors we've got going on here. I hope this helped you with some ideas for your island. If you make anything similar, please send me a message on Instagram, which is at Jacinta Plays, because I'd love to see it. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Bye.